Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to my first English vlog in years. I haven't made English videos in... I can't even remember. I started off with this YouTube channel years ago and I started off in English and then at some point I was like I should switch to Dutch because I have my beauty academy where I would do makeup workshops and it was all Dutch so I decided to switch to Dutch at some point. At this moment I kind of regret that I did that but I just made a decision at the moment to switch back to English. I may regret it again but I think um, since a lot of Dutch people can speak English as well and I do want to grow my following along the whole world and since my English is a little bit better than then and a little bit more spontaneous than a few years ago because at at some point I was like so shy to make English videos every time I would turn off my vlog camera I would be just too shy to say anything and I would just only film like the surroundings I know a lot of people won't like it but I do think that there is also a lot of people that will like it eventually <laughs> but uh, we will just see how it goes and I hope you guys keep on watching me even though if you're Dutch I just think that it's more beneficial for me in the long run and I think I can help more women all around the world with the things that I do and not only help it's also some kind of entertainment I guess I do have to say my English isn't perfect I know I have an accent I don't know what kind of accent I have but I will probably make a lot of mistakes still but I'm okay with that and I hope you guys are okay with it too and that you guys bear with me a little bit <laughs> because in the end if I just keep on uh, making this content it will get better and better and I hope you guys are with me on this journey you might see it on my face but i received such an amazing collection of products from too faced it's their uh, blushes and their highlighter and their new lip glosses so these are the kissing jelly glosses they smell so good i am wearing the watermelon one and it smells so good and it feels also very good on my lips super hydrating and then I also received the most beautiful blush packaging. I just love that the outer packaging is just the same color as the blush. And this one reminds me of the viral Dior blush, like the rosy pink one. And I also wore it today. And I combined it with this one. So I actually learned this from Ines. She was like, oh my god, I have this super cute blush from Too Faced. It's so good when I did her makeup. And she told me that these are very nice. And she put them on and they looked so good on her. And then I received them from Too Faced as well. So this one is the Candy Clouds color. And this one is called Watermelon Rain. I have to say it's very pigmented. So you should use a very small amount. And then the lighter one, I put it more on top. So in between my powder under my eye and in between the darker shade of the blush i put the lighter one and i also used their highlighter so i received also two one is called moon crush highlighter and the one the one i'm wearing is shooting star and then you have a if you're more of a deeper complexion you should go with summer moon I love them both. Look at these blushes. They're so cute. I just love Too Faced packaging. And look at this little heart. Like, everything is just perfect. I also use their bronzer. I use the Chocolate Soleil bronzer. And I use the middle color. So you have three colors in the store. I think it's called something like milk chocolate. And it smells like chocolate as well. I was making um, Instagram uh, reels about it. And a TikTok. And if you guys like it, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and on my TikTok. My Instagram is it's Laila Amini and my TikTok account is called Laila Amini. I still hope that one day I will get my original name. There's this girl who uses my... my of course, her name is Laila Amini as well. But it's the same name as me on Instagram. So Laila Amini. But I never see that she posts anything. Her account is private, but you can see like if somebody posts how many... Uh, post somebody did right so i never see that it goes up and i so, so once in a while i get this thing where, where i'm like i should message her and ask her if she wants to give her account to me 
and I've sent her maybe every year a message and she never replied so I kind of think that account doesn't work but I hope that my Instagram and my following grows at a point that Instagram is gonna be like hey this is your account here and here you have it <laughs> I can dream right <laughs> Look at all this stuff in my living room because I wanted to sell all of these products. I put it on Vinted. I did a big clean out a few days ago and I decided to put everything that I don't use anymore or don't wear anymore on Vinted. And I did that. But it's so hard for me because every time when I do this big clean out and I want to put it on Vinted. And the moment when I put it on Vinted I'm like, hmm, it's kind of cute actually. I'm, I should keep it. And... This time I was so harsh on myself. I was no, you're not keeping anything. You're gonna sell it because you know I don't wear it. Every time I just want to keep it in my closet because I like one day I will wear it. So that it, I'm gonna be hard on myself. I'm just gonna put everything on vintage, and I hope somebody else is happy with it. And of course, then I can buy other stuff that I like. At the beginning of this year, I was in France and in Spain, and I did some shopping. And maybe I would like to show you guys what I got or maybe I should put everything that I bought recently into a haul video. Also took out my large video camera. I bought this camera because I really wanted like this amazing equipment for my vlogs uh, years ago. And I actually used it only maybe for five videos on my YouTube channel. And I kind of regret that I didn't use it more because the quality is so good. If I look at those videos now, okay, I don't like to watch my older videos. But if I look at the quality of the videos, they were very good. And right now I'm filming with my a vlog camera, which is smaller. I can bring it everywhere. But that camera is such a good quality, but it's huge. So I can, I can only do sit down videos with it. And I lost the charger, so recently I also ordered the charger so I can charge it finally after years. But that's a serious camera. And I'm, I was thinking like, or I should make videos right now, or I should decide to just sell it. Because I think I bought the lens for like a thousand euros and it was just only the lens. So, and I think the camera, I don't know how much it was at that time, maybe like seven, eight hundred euros. So those are things that i did at that time because i really was yeah i was dreaming about this youtuber life that i was gonna create for myself i also bought a microphone for 250 euros or something i'm that crazy person i want to everything has to be perfect before i start and then in the end i just make one video <laughs> and that's it i hope it won't happen right now but we will see okay my food is ready i made casserole if i say it right i put Brussels sprouts mushrooms mashed potato which i made before and i added uh, cheese on top and a little bit of parmesan cheese so i hope it's good it's the first time i made it i just looked for any dish with mushroom and brussels sprouts and this came out so i made it oh my god you guys it smells so good <laughs> See you guys tomorrow in the morning i have a pilates class so i need to sleep right now good morning i am ready for pilates this is my outfit it's from lululemon i bought the espresso color recently and i'm ready for my training my breakfast for today i got some kiwi i have um toast with uh, cream cheese and carrot jam I have dates, I have a toast with, this is like a mix of peanut butter, cashew and almond and banana on top and then I have a cappuccino with oat milk of course and I have fresh celery juice so I think this is a very good breakfast, don't you think? I was at TK Maxx a few days ago and I found this bowl and I thought it would look so good on my dining table 
it's very close to the kitchen and I always have green apples well not always most of the time I have green apples in my house and look how nice actually I need to hide the stickers <laughs> hey guys received some packages today so I thought maybe I should unbox it with you guys and this is a package I ordered myself from Go Beauty that's the store in the UK where I order lots of my beauty products first of all I ordered a new bottle of the superfood cleanser from you to the people this is I think my fourth bottle I really love this cleanser it cleans so well and I combine it with um, another oil cleanser so as a second cleanse i use this one and it's so good you guys if you just try it out and you will thank me later it makes my skin so clean but not in a way like it's drying but it does make it clean because sometimes i tried cleansers that say like it's not stripping your skin or it's not drying but then it doesn't clean my uh, makeup at all so i really love this one and i really see a difference in my skin since i've been using it and I ordered, a girl on TikTok um, said that this was a very good powder for under your eyes. I already put it on my eye, under my eyes yet today. So I have to see how it will be if I use it more often. But until now I really like it. And mostly whenever I buy something because of TikTok or because somebody recommended a makeup product. Almost 9 out of, the, out of 10 times I'm not happy with the product. But I kind of like this product. So this was a good purchase until now. And it's called the Cloud Set. Kosas. Um, what is it actually? It's a baking and setting and smoothing powder. So that sounds good, right? So And I have the color Feathery. And it looks like this. And it, the one con is that it's very hard to open. And I'm very scared that... When I open it, it falls out of my hands and it breaks. This is what it looks like and it's just a powder and I don't know how it will be whenever I've been using it more often, but the first use was good. Another product that I ordered is the Ole Hendrickson Banana Bright Eye Cream. Years ago I used to use it and it was working very well for me, but I don't know, at a point it, it kind of became old because I didn't use it that much. I have so many eye products and recently I also bought another eye product for under my eyes from The Ordinary. So, um, and why did I order this? So recently I've been using the Beauty by Joseon Eye Serum. So it's something with retinaldehyde and ginseng or something. It's a very popular one. I also posted it on my Instagram that you guys should order it because it worked wonders for my dark eye circles i not using it that much because my under eye area became very dry and um, at a point i was like okay i need to combine this with a cream so i want to use the serum and the cream alternating with each other so one night the serum one night uh this cream and this one is very, also very good for dark eye circles because it has vitamin c then since i don't have enough eyeshadow I have so much eyeshadow you guys but I couldn't I could not not order this because these eyeshadow palettes they look so good on the internet and I was kind of scared that it would be just like another eyeshadow palette and maybe it is but it looked so good and everybody on uh, TikTok was raving about it so once again I ordered something because of somebody telling about the product on TikTok and also on youtube so the packaging of this product is so beautiful so this is the major dimension palette and look at the colors isn't this so so beautiful i'm in love and then i also got the major dimension palette in the number three and this one is fully matte I'm kind of like a matte girl, like in uh, most of the time I like matte eyeshadow. Once in a while I do like more of a shimmer, but um, not that often. So this is the number three and this one is full on matte. So, so pretty. And here are some um, cream eyeshadows. 
So that's why they put that little thing on it so it doesn't dry out. So I'm very excited to try these two. And they are so pretty. And I think my clients will love it as well. So, so this was everything that I ordered from Cult Beauty. And I also received a little package from Paula's Choice. And which is the new um, Mandelic Lactic Acid AHA. Very nice. So it's very good for discoloration because of the Mandelic Acid. And because of the Lactic Acid, it makes the skin uh, smoother. So very excited to try it out. When I did my clean out, I also organized all of my beauty products and uh, everything that's in my beauty drawer. But I didn't have anything for my perfume. Uh, I only had like this little lazy Susan thing where, which you can twirl around but it kind of made me think of a kitchen thing and I didn't want that on display so I ordered something from Amazon two of these perfume stands and it has like uh, this little um, film on it so if I take those off they will get totally clear and I have to assemble it myself so I will do that and I will put my perfumes on it and show you guys what it looks like so these are the products actually that I um, got in the mail Oops. this is so satisfying Oops. filled up my ASMR attempt but maybe this piece will sound very good oh my god look at it it's so pretty it's so clear I really didn't thought it would be this good but it looks amazing god look at it so pretty let's see if it's standing straight oh my god i love it okay let's make the other one as well honestly this looks so good okay i need to wipe down this perfume so this is the end result i love it it looks so Good and put together but I really need to buy new perfumes look at how delicious this looks I love this dish so much <laughs> hello everybody I did a get ready with me and I kind of did a makeup look that I haven't done before but I don't know if I like it don't mind the mess i just made a video where i unboxed all of my new stuff and this is the aftermath if you guys like to watch it then you can see it on my other video i also said in my haul as well that i need to get my pants fixed so that i need to get my pants tailored from Loewe. so i'm gonna do that and i also am gonna bring my remoa case because it's damaged it's like kind of broken-ish and that happened when I went from London to Amsterdam my poor baby so this is what happened to my case it got like a very big dent here and now it doesn't close properly so I need to get that fixed because I'm very scared that it opens and it is kind of open i can put my finger in between it. um i didn't see it by then when i went home and i unpacked my stuff i saw that my luggage is damaged also gonna take my loewe pants tailored at the loewe store i hope they still do it because i'm very late i bought it in spain in the beginning of this month so it's almost one month ago that i bought it so now i need to get it tailored as soon as possible so i can wear it and I am also gonna uh, get lunch somewhere so I'm gonna take you guys with me that when I film people always think it's so neat because if you look at this corner you think like whoa her house is so neat and her house is so neat and when you look at here it's a big mess and here I always feel like my house has to be clean the moment I leave the house but 
I can't do that right now. I need to go, otherwise I will be too late. I totally forgot to tell you guys because I got in an accident in January because of the ice on the road and there was already an accident in front of me happening and because of the ice I couldn't stop my it was so scary I was like oh my god I hope I don't hit anybody because there were people walking around the accident that happened and when I came and I couldn't uh, my brakes just didn't work so it was very scary but I'm happy nothing crazy happened only thing is my car got crashed my uh, the front part of my car is just so ugly I can still drive around luckily my car still works perfectly but uh, my side and my front is damaged I'm kind of mad at myself that it happened but it really was out of my hands I just slipped so the beginning of the year was kind of good but also kind of bad for me I also got my um, wisdom teeth removed at the beginning of the year and the funny thing is the day I got that accident I think maybe four days before I got my wisdom teeth removed so my face was like super huge and I came out of the car and I thought oh my god these people are gonna be like whoa this crazy girl stepping out of this car <laughs> I look so scary I don't even want to show a picture because it's too embarrassing to me <laughs> nowadays when you drive in Amsterdam you have to drive 30 kilometers an hour and it's horrible it just feels like you're on a bicycle when you're driving because yeah it's so slow and before you know it you will get a fine because there's cameras everywhere stay a little bit loose but a little bit tighter right away they fixed my uh, remote luggage in like five minutes she went upstairs and I heard somebody fixing <laughs> the, the luggage and then she came downstairs and it was fixed also didn't have to pay anything so it was a nice service it took like five minutes to fix it the juice and hey guys i am going to make dinner I just cleaned up the house just a little bit I'm not done yet but I will do the rest I think tomorrow I'm going to make my dinner now and I'm gonna eat it in front of the TV maybe I'm gonna watch some series I recently finished Griselda and it was so good I really love that series it was so good with Sofia Vergara she did such a good job and I, I watched it in one day <laughs> and actually I'm not that much of a series person but I really like that one and guys I made some banana pancakes because I had an old banana here and I mixed it in with an egg, some oatmeal, some flour and a little bit of oat milk but this is actually for a coffee but I still mix it in. So I don't know if it's gonna turn out great or not. And I also added this vanilla extract and some cinnamon. So let's see how it turns out. My breakfast is ready. I'm so excited to eat these apples. Oh my god, so good. I did some grocery shopping. I bought some flowers. This one is for on my coffee table. I'm gonna put it in this vase. And I also bought some snacks for when my sisters are coming. And I bought eggs for in the morning so I can make avocado toast. And some bread. I already put it in the cabinets. So I'm not sure if I want to keep this on my coffee table or not. But I will keep this one definitely. I need to clean it actually. Yesterday I also bought a new candle at Skins. And this one smells so good. So I will put this on my coffee table. And I will style it and I will show you guys. Okay, this is the end result for now. 
I actually didn't want to put this part, but I thought it looked kind of empty. So this is my dining table for now. And I think it looks cute like this. For now at least. And since my sisters are staying over, I ordered this air mattress so they can sleep on it because the last one we had is broken. And I picked this one at Amazon because I thought this is the same brand that always makes those swimming pools that you can keep in your garden. So I thought it would be good. I didn't test it out yet, so I will test it out. If it's not working, we have a problem tonight because six of us need to sleep somewhere. I seriously bought this color because it goes good with my uh, interior. Kind of impressed. It looks so good. Let's test it out. Okay, it needs a little bit more air, I think. <laughs> Sisters are here! We are ready! <laughs> She's already in her pajamas. <laughs> We're ready for dinner! This is my outfit of the night. Birthday girl! <laughs> sisters and they just left my house and I cleaned the house a little bit so right now I thought let's do a little bit of self-care so I'm gonna wash my face with my face wash the kill cleanser is in my drawer so that's why I don't take it out Today I'm doing one of my favorite masks. It, it's the parsley seed from Aesop. And it's almost done as you can see. Oh my friend is calling. giveaway on my socials so on tiktok instagram and these are all the products that i'm gonna give away for one person i'm so excited i would love to receive this i am wearing a dress for a reels that i just made so that's why i'm all glammed because i was making a tutorial on this makeup look on my hair on my dress now I'm going to clean up all this mess that I made and then I'm gonna make myself some lunch or get some lunch somewhere and then I'm gonna edit my uh, YouTube videos because I haven't edited yet and I just got the new Final Cut Pro on my computer I made dinner So I made uh, pasta arrabbiata with mushrooms and extra chili peppers and lots of cheese it looks so delicious hey guys since the vlog is kind of long until now so i'm gonna end the vlog here and you will see the rest of my day today in my next vlog thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and to like the video and i hope to see you next time Mwah.